What's good YouTube, welcome back to the channel Stink on Feet360 Today we are yet back to show you guys another review video It's not going to be about sneakers I hope you guys enjoyed my last video of the APC Raw Denim Today we did camp out for something If you guys follow my Instagram as well as my brother Or um, have us on your friend list on Facebook You would know that we camp out for the iPhone 6 uh, I, Apparently I'm holding it in my hand right now But before getting into it, let me tell you guys a little story real quick You are in the area of Orange County uh, my brother camped out, uh, and I and my friend camped out at the uh, T-Mobile store at Trask and Euclid. Um, my brother was the earliest one he got there around 9 to 10 p.m. last night. And um, me and my friend show up right after work, which is 12.30 uh, to 1 a.m. And uh, pretty much we were the first three people there. Uh, a lot of people show up later on. Uh, what ends up happening is that they only had three models of the phone. Uh, same color as well. They only have the space gray, which is uh, aka the black edition um, uh, No white no gold and no plus so only the black uh, space gray um, You know available in 16 gig 64 and 128 gig. However, only 10 phones per storage data Okay, as you can see that the one I'm holding right here is a 64 gig I Thought you know what why not pay just a little bit extra because I'll be vlogging on these um, as well as uh, can pretty much just workout video and whatsoever for those uh, quick shots and uh, I'll show you guys the box real quick the phone is already open because they T-Mobile need to open it in order for it to um, switch from from my uh, iPhone 3 uh, to this phone to activate it as you can see right here the box comes with a very clean look if I put it to the side you're gonna see that the silhouette of the phone is popping up on the front and I thought this is a real, real clean look from Apple. Um, my brother said, you know, it reminds him of the Yeezus album, or although Yeezus are transparent. But as you can see right here, we have a an off-white color on the uh, home button or menu button, uh, as well as up here on the uh, speakers or the uh, port where you listen to your phone calls. And as you can see, this is an actual silhouette of the phone, actual sizing. Once again, on the side, it says iPhone, Apple, iPhone, and they no longer put the number of the phone. Okay, so open it up. So be careful when you open these up. Do not like, you know, that one guy, that one kid that dropped his phone. Just, you know, they open, they go for a long time, so just lift them straight up. As you can see right here, boom. You guys are getting a first look, but not me, apparently. Um, you can see right here, we have, uh, let, me, let me play around with the lighting. Okay, very thin phone. Uh, this is just the 4.7, I believe, uh, which is not the plus. Once again, they did not carry the plus, nor I wanted it. I don't want the plus. As you can see right here, it feels real tight and snug on hand. It might be about the same weight as an iPhone 5 or 5S, uh, but it is a lot lighter for such a, a, a size of this phone like this. You can see on the side, real thin way thinner than the um the 5 and the 5s uh, your volume button right there up and down and then you got your vibrates toggle on off right there and then you got your antenna starting uh below and on top and then it carries on to the back boom and this is the reason why i am not getting the white because uh the white has the same color and it will get dirty along with the lighter tints of gray on your aluminum back which has uh, completely ruined the phone cosmetically uh, after you know wear and tear. You can see right there, you got your black Apple logo. I still got the plastic on there, so you know what's up. Um, we actually had to refilm this video because of the fact that um, we did not know that the speakers were right, not the speaker, but the mics were right there. Um, so therefore, we had to refilm because we thought the mic was were down here. But I guess this is a talking mic. And then this is the uh, speaker phone or the speaker of the phone. Uh, you got your same lightning port from your iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S. And they move their, uh, their mic for the video recording up front, which is clever because uh, as you notice, my brother is filming with his iPhone 6 right now and the sound is superb. We test it out. As you can see right here on the, um, on the lights, on the lighting of the phone, uh, let, let him get a close look at this real quick. We got two tone. Uh, supposedly, this is what they call a true uh, skin tone lighting uh, as far as the flash. 
And then uh, there you go, just aluminum casing, uh, iPhone, you know, no gig storage ever since the 5 or the 5. 5S, your IMEI number is still there. So the thing that I'll be also disappointed about is when you lift this thing up. Um, it comes with all the accessories. You can see your headphone, your wall jack, as well as your USB to lightning port cable. Um, you know, it doesn't... Because normally when you open this up, this end right here, um, I don't have time to show you my iPhone 5, but this should come with that SIM removal. Apparently it doesn't come with it. It only comes with a uh, two Apple sticker. Um, come to think of it, I haven't really used those. I should be sticking on you know, on my card and you know whatnot. And then you got your little diagram right there or blueprint iPhone six. Uh, ring and silent switch on the left. Volume buttons. Uh, sleep wake button. As you can see, it's moved to the right for easy access. Lights unlock. Lightning connector. Home button or touch ID sensor, and then you got your um, info uh, as well as your warranty card. As you can see right here, this is the back camera. It does not protrude or pops out that much compared to all those complaints. Um, but I do not have a problem with it because the fact that this thing is a sapphire stone, um, the same uh, material as the home or menu button ever since the 5s. Uh, the fact that they do not get scratched easily because they range from maybe like a 7 to an 8 on the hardness scale of, of uh, minerals. So uh, 10 being diamonds. So basically, to sum up the scale, whichever number uh, of the mineral is greater than the other, it could scratch the other one easily. So in order to scratch this, it would be maybe obsidian or something much stronger rating of like an 8, 9 to 10. So metal ranges maybe to a 5, so your keys or whatsoever, a knife could not scratch this button easily as well as the back camera so pockets and everything should be good to go as you can see right here on your front screen although they did mention sapphire on the on the front screen it does not mean that this whole thing is completely sapphire as you can see sapphires are stone and they'll be way thicker and in order to incorporate the whole sapphire onto the screen it will be super expensive this one would not be a mere 700 or 650 dollars but it is a mix between sapphire and plastic so therefore, it would not scratch as easily as before. I believe metal could not scratch this easily as well. Um, another key thing about this phone is that the, um, the, the lock or the power button, they move from the top down to the side. Because they were arguing, they were saying that, oh, this is going to be an easy reach for you guys. As you can see right here, I'm holding the phone with my hand, one hand. And as you can see right here, instead of going up top with my index finger, so I gotta go like that, like a clawing motion, you know, I just go ahead and give you my thumb. Boom, boom, see? And then let's go get into the phone real quick, slide to unlock, fingerprint ID down there, I'm gonna get into that. You can see right here, we have T-Mobile running on a four bar, sometimes a five. Uh, we got your LTE going on, message and everything. Uh, the, the new app that I noticed about this is the um, the health. Um, let's see what else did they put into this. Uh, they have Keynote. Uh, YouTube, I downloaded that, that. It didn't come with it. But I was testing out the video, you know. It was it was super fast. Uh, they got iTunes University, iMovie. They got iMovies in there. That's great. Maybe you could edit your movie and stuff like that as well. Maybe I'll be able to edit with this phone. They got uh, GarageBand pages and a whole bunch of other stuff as well on your texting they have this uh, new feature it is called um let's say for example if i create a new text and then they have this uh, auto fill in so let's say if, I, if someone asked me a question let's say if i want to eat rice or noodle they would have this thing where they categorize the answer they read it and then they'll let me choose either rice or noodle or something else but pretty much let's just say hi you know my name is see so i can press right there kenny well apparently you don't know my name you dumb <laughs> but as you can see way quicker and i guess it does come with your emojis wow it does comes with built-in emojis that is awesome built-in emojis perfect um siri so we'll try out siri real quick i don't know if it'll work um, iPhone 6. 
Everything you need to know about Apple products is at Apple's website. Go to apple.com. Here's what I found on the web for apple.com. Let's see right there. And um How's the weather? Nice weather coming up between today and September 29th, 2014. You see right degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see right there, the speakers does sound quite quite nice. Um, as far as the photo app, everything is perfect. Um, my friend was able to grab my phone and take a quick shot at the T-Mobile store. Uh, me and my brother. It does, you know, it does a lot of justice. Um, well, the phone, maybe the quality of the video would not show enough detail, but looking in person, it is super clear and nice. You can zoom in, you can still see some of the detail. And another thing, real quick, before I end the video, we go to camera mode, we have these new mode right here. We have time lapse, maybe slow mode and time lapse on the 5S because I don't have 5S, I'm not sure. But video, your usual video, and then you got your photo. Photo also comes with the timer. We got uh, three second, ten second. Let's try the three second real quick. It's on. That's that. It's gonna count three, two, and one. Boom. And then as you can see right there. And then we have a square panel. You know, um, your color uh, settings and whatnot. And um, that's about it, you guys. Besides the fact that underneath this phone, they have an A8 chip as well as an M7, I believe it's an M7. Um, basically, it also comes with the um, the Apple Pay, uh, which pretty much you can load your uh, credit card into here. And basically, they'll encrypt it. So uh, whenever you go to a cashier shopping, you know, fast food whatsoever, I know McDonald's, Nike, and some of the major restaurants be offering that. So pretty much you just hold the phone up to uh, whatever device they have and then just a quick finger scan on your scanner and that should work um, They'll create like a proxy number and the uh, cashier will not be able to know your name nor your car number and whatnot, whatever that is, you know um, But overall, I, I'm loving this phone right now for the fact that I stuck with my iPhone 3G That I bought for my friend for a while because the fact that I lost my phone So if you follow my Instagram or Facebook, you would know that detail um but I, I'm loving this phone. I'm not a huge fan of bigger phones, so that is the, re the reason why I'm not getting the uh, you know iPhone Plus. Um, uh, let's just put it this way. Before ending the video, uh, this is once again Sneak Off Your 360 channel. So before ending it, we're gonna do a little 360 view of the phone while I'm holding it. No bullshit. So boom, we got front view of the phone while I'm holding it. And then right side, while I'm holding it and then we got the back of it while I'm holding it back to the left back to the front and we got the top view real quick for you guys like I said no bullshit I said 360 view from the bottom and that's it and when we do a drop test real quick for you guys I'm just kidding, fuck that. <laughs> Alright, that's it you guys. Thanks for watching once again. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm so excited about this phone. And um, please keep all the comments about Samsung to yourself. Um, to me, it's just childish. I like an iPhone. I'm going to spend my money on an iPhone. As simple as that. As far as the commercial, keep it to yourself. Don't be stupid like, and childish like that one commercial with Samsung happened, you know, it compares to Apple and Samsung. Peace.